a sepal slash or, is a part of the flower of angiosperms. The term sepalum was coined by Noel Martin Joseph de Necker in 1790, and derived from the Greek I florin I I micron I euro I, a covering. Collectively the sepals are called the calyx, the outermost whorl of parts that form a flower. The word calyx adopted from the Latin calyx, not to be confused with calyx, a cup or goblet. Calyx derived from the Greek I plus or minus I I, I three quarters a bud, a calyx, a husk or wrapping, from Sanskrit calica, a bud, while calyx derived from the Greek I, I, I to the first I three quarters, a cup or goblet, and the words have been used interchangeably in botanical Latin. Usually green, sepals typically function as protection for the flower in bud, and often as support for the petals when in bloom. After flowering, most plants have no more use for the calyx which withers or becomes vestigial, however, some plants retain a thorny calyx either dried or live, as protection for the fruit or seeds. Examples include species of Achenna, some of the Selenaceae, and the water caltrop, Trepanotans. In some species the calyx not only persists after flowering, but instead of withering, begins to grow actively until it forms a bladder-like enclosure around the fruit. This is an effective protection against some kinds of birds and insects, for example in Hibiscus trinum and the Cape gooseberry. Morphologically, both sepals and petals are modified leaves. The calyx and the corolla are the outer sterile whorls of the flower, which together form what is known as the perianth. The termed pal is usually applied when the parts of the perianth are difficult to distinguish, for example the petals and sepals share the same color, or the petals are absent and the sepals are colorful. Examples of plants in which the termed pal is appropriate include genera such as aloe and tulipa. In contrast, genera such as rosa and physiolus have well distinguished sepals and petals. The number of sepals in a flower is its morosity. Flower morosity is indicative of a plant's classification. The morosity of a eudicot flower is typically four or five. The morosity of a monocot or paleodicot flower is three, or a multiple of three. The development and form of the sepals vary considerably among flowering plants. They may be free or fused together. Often, the sepals are much reduced, appearing somewhat awn-like, or as scales, teeth, or ridges. Most often such structures protrude until the fruit is mature and falls off. Examples of flowers with much reduced perianths are found among the grasses. In some flowers, the sepals are fused towards the base, forming a calyx tube, a floral tube that can include the petals and the attachment point of the stamens. References See also, Plant Morphology